pastor of this church. I want you to come forward also. We'll wait on you. We got time. We'll wait on you. Elder Ernie, Elder Brown, if you will come forward. Our deacons, Brother Fred, need you all up here, please. could come around on this side please this young man standing before me is a YSU football player had an outstanding game on yesterday and made his way to church this morning Plan to win. Amen. You know, this young man can be an influence for Christ to his whole team. Listen, all the circles that you're in, God wants you to be in those circles so that you might win people. Amen. So I'm going to pray first, the prayer of salvation if you're here and you never accepted Jesus Christ. I want you to pray this prayer with me. Father God, I acknowledge that I am a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross. According to the scriptures, I believe that he was buried and God raised him from the dead in my place and for my salvation. God, I acknowledge that I need you. And I ask you to be the Lord of my life. Fill me with your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Now listen, if you prayed that prayer, I need you to speak with one of our deacons afterwards. And they will explain to you more uh, in depth what it really means to be a follower of Jesus Christ. For those who have come, who are already saved, and you, you just need prayer about your race. You know that you haven't been running the way that God wants you to run, and you just need strength. You need His grace. I want you to pray with me. Father, in Jesus' name, your word says if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I acknowledge that I have not been running in such a way to win. And so I pray, God, that you would restore the joy of my salvation, that you would give me a passion to win and give me the discipline and self-control that's required to, to run an effective race. God, I thank you for grace. Your word says if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I thank you for righteousness that comes by faith alone in Jesus Christ. I thank you for victory in advance. 
Thank you for one more opportunity to run this race. In Jesus' name. Amen. And the last prayer is a prayer for those who have a desire to be a part of this church family. Our deacons and those around will be able to speak with you afterwards. Even if you're here for a short period of time, we just want to be a part of your growth and your development in Christ and help you learn how to run to win. And so, Father, I thank you so, so much for all those that have come. Whatever their heart's desire is, will you meet it in the name of Jesus? God, we pray a special prayer. Brother uh, Kent, Kent, come here. Uh, Brother Frank and Fred, you're, you're good. Frank and Fred, I need y'all to move up. Put your hands on Bob. Okay, I want you to pray for Bob surgery. Amen, amen. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, that your word will not return void, but it will accomplish that for what you send it. And so, Father, we thank you for allowing us to hear what you had to say. And, Father God, I just pray that we not just be hearers, for doers of your most holy word and we right now we pray for brother Bob and his lovely wife Jocelyn and as Bob goes through the surgery father God you know his body you know what he's in need of and we just ask father God that you'll be with the doctors who will be performing the surgery on Tuesday morning father God we pray that all the knowledge and wisdom that they learned and the skill that you allow them to learn, Father God, that they would use all that for the betterment of our brother Bob. Yes. And that, Father, that you would heal his body yes. according to your yes. will. Yes. That you'll restore to him, Father God, that portion of health and strength, Lord, that you allow him to have. And so we thank you, Lord, for you are the great physician. Yes. We know that you are the great I am. Yes. We know, Father God, you took some mud and, and, and formed some eyes. And, Father yes. God, we know that you can heal any of our diseases and any of our sicknesses. And so we thank you, Lord, for what you will accomplish in Brother Bob's life. We pray uh, for his continued strength. We pray for Jocelyn, Lord, as she's there right beside him, Father God, being a comfort to him that you'll just continue to lift them up, Father God. Continue to encourage them as we trust and put our faith in you, Lord. And so we thank you. We thank you for all you've done. We thank you, God, for all you will do. And we look forward to the praise and, and the testimony of that successful surgery. And Father God, we're, we're trusting and hoping in you. And so we thank you. And we'll continue to give you the honor, the glory, and the praise that you so rightfully deserve. It's in Jesus' most precious name we do pray and we give thanks. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. Amen.